Hi friends, in this video we are discussing an error which I got when I was working with the Node.js project in PostgreSQL database. First let me run the project npm start. My command is executing. Unfortunately, I got error, connection error, error, password authentication failed for user Postgres. So, I think the error occurred in my db connection file. I have already opened my db connection file db.js. Here I have used npm package pg and I imported client and I passed an object for the connection, client connection to my PostgreSQL server database. Host is localhost, port is 5432 database study, user Postgres and password 123. And I am calling connect method on client. It will return true or error of success. If it is error, I will show connection error and error dot stack. This will return the current error. That is what happened here. This connection error comes from this console. Then error dot stack will return this line. Error colon password authentication failed for user Postgres. If it is uh, connection is success, then else condition will be executed and we will get the message connected on the terminal from this console.log. Right now this error goes is working. So when we check these de details, uh, I understood that I have local host PostgreSQL server installed in current system, the same mission. It is running on port number 5432, database is study, user is Postgres and password is 123. So, I will make sure that I have given correct details here, these lines of course. So, in order to just check or confirm it, I have opened my PG admin 4. Please understand that PG admin 4 is a management tool to interact with uh, PostgreSQL server installed on your system. You can directly access your databases, all the objects in the databases, uh, all the options which you can perform on PostgreSQL server can be done through this PG admin 4 management tool. So, first when we open this PG admin for first we have to enter the password. Please enter your master password. This is required to unlock saved passwords and re reconnect to the database servers. So, let me enter my password. It is connected. Now, I am trying to access my PostgreSQL, Postgres database and uh, databases. Here, only one database is available here. First, uh, let us check. I have mentioned study, but my error is not uh, regarding the database. It is regarding password authentication failed for user Postgres. So, I hope my password for this Postgres user is not 123. I, I have changed it later. I wrote this line of code long time before, but right now I changed my Postgres password, password for this. Uh, uh, PostgreSQL server, Postgres user. This is Postgres database, but we are, this is Postgres database. You see, Postgres database. But the owner is the user Postgres. When we install PostgreSQL server on our system, by default there will be Postgres database and by default its, by default its owner will be Postgres. By default there should be one owner that name is Postgres. So, when we install my PostgreSQL server on my system, I generated, I assigned the password 123456 for the Postgres user. But, uh, but, uh, but I have given 123 only here. So, I will type 456 and save the password. Right now, error has gone. You see, let us uh, close this one. Let me clear the console. Let me start. NVM start again. Right now, error is gone. Connection error, error database study does not exist. So, before there was another error like uh, um, password authentication failed for user Postgres. And now its error is database study does not exist. That means, so we have to create a database here right now they, they are connect they are trying to connect to the database study but there is uh, there is no database exists here let me create database study save it yes it is there now now 
let us exit and clear let us run again yes we got connected so in this small video we understood two two, two cases first one is uh, we are mis mistakenly type the wrong password for this postgres user so we got the uh, authentication password error for postgres user after that we, uh, that when that part is completed uh, our client client object client this client is trying to connect the study database in postgres server there is no study database so we created the study database so uh, uh, the study database does not exist error also board so we fixed two error in this video thank you